All right, what up, what up, guys? Welcome back, man, to the Welcome show. Welcome back. Welcome back, baby. Today's topic is what, Jay? Let them know. What's your biggest fear? Oh, man, what a strong, strong topic today. What's your biggest fear? I'm going to go straight to it, y'all. What's your biggest fear, man? I know the people want to know. I want to know, and let's go to it. Dang, all right. Well, my biggest fear, first of all, let's start off with this. A lot of right. people always, especially men, Right. They always come across as if they're invincible and they don't have fears. Right. Are you scared of heights? Spiders? Uh, horror films? I, right. I met a lot of guys throughout my film. No, I'm not scared of horror films. I just don't like them. They're stupid. Right. <laughs> people, people. It don't make no stupid. sense. Right. You don't like them because I'm just scary, bro. Like, right. but dudes, they have a problem admitting to their fears. I don't know why I've never been. I've never been like that. But there's a lot of guys I know that are always afraid to admit they about fear. what they're scared of. Yep. This episode and this topic is not just about that, those things, but mainly in life, right? In life. Now, yep. one of my fears, nothing's wrong with that, right? It's a prideful thing. I don't know what it is. I just don't know what it is. They want to be this macho man thing. I'm surprised that still exists, I'm but sure it's, it's okay it. to tell people what you're afraid of, right? Right. That's right? And correct. usually admitting what to, to what you're afraid of helps you beat it. That's people right. People don't know that either. So one of my fears is spiders. Okay. I don't like the spiders. I, I didn't even I kinda, know that. That's I, I kind of grew out of that a little bit, actually. I used to really didn't hate like spiders before, but I still don't like them now. But right. Try this. Heights, though. That didn't go away. Definitely afraid of heights. Okay. Right? But those are not my biggest fears. We'll get into what the biggest fear is. Right. Now, if you want to know. My biggest fear. Right. My bad. My biggest fear, dude, honestly. My biggest fear is not becoming successful. Now, can I that, that, that's my biggest fear, dude. Like, all jokes aside, that is it. Yeah, I just don't want to die. I just want to ask you this. Die a bum. A lot of people have that same fear, though. Out of everybody in the world, I'm sure everybody in this world have the same exact fear of failing. No, I didn't say that. No, 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 no. See, oh, look, look, look. Oh, okay, you okay, see? okay. You see? Okay. I didn't Correct. say my biggest fear is right. failing because I failed a lot of times. Okay. And, and more fa failures, right. failures inevitable. You're always gonna fail. You're gonna fail. fail. People but, but those people that fail to fail, fail usually the ones that right. what? don't try because oh, they're afraid okay. to fail. Oh, I like I'm not that. afraid to fail. I know I like that, but that. I don't okay. care. Okay. The biggest fear fear is not becoming successful after all the failures. I still didn't make it. Powerful. Right. Okay. Which you, a lot you, of us you, feel you, you the understand same way. what I'm saying? I, I agree with no, you. No, a lot of people don't. Okay. A lot of people don't. A lot, a lot of you do. A lot of people right. watching do. Because the people that are watching the show are intellectual people. Okay. But not that's what makes us all different. The people that watch the Y'all on Demand show, the people that watch us. Right. You feel that way. But a lot of the world doesn't. Why? And that's why a lot of people settle and become complacent. Because they don't have that fear of never making it to, never the, making to their height. Right. To the highest point in their life. They're, they become complacent and settle. Right. So they don't have the same fear as you do. Right. We do because we want more. For, correct. 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 You see what I'm saying? No, I see exactly what so you're it's, saying. It's, it's, so my fear is not making from. it, Jay. Right. That's my joy. Not getting all that bread that we talk about, money successful. Right. Not making it. That's my biggest fear. Right. That's but, it. But I, I heard a saying, if you try hard, that's when you die hard. Do you believe in that? <laughs> because, no, it's true because a lot of people try, 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 and then they don't go nowhere, and then they take it hard on themselves. Because they don't, they don't reach their... And I can agree with what you're saying again, going back to what you're saying, just piggyback in the sense, if you don't try, how can you know that's your fear of not making it? So I like that. So I can tell you guys my biggest fear is a little bit more um, off of not being successful. My biggest fear in life was always to end up getting killed on the streets. You know, I always was... Like, if you know, you guys know my background, I, where I came from. I grew up in a poor neighborhood. So I was watched out for, like, you know, the people that was around or the, the neighborhood that I grew up in. So I always wanted to go, I always go back. And you hear people get killed on, in their own town, their own city. So my oh. biggest fear, you know, is a lot of people we lost that way. My biggest fear was Dad, Jeff, until this day on. I still do, I still go back, I still give stuff up to my city, where I'm from, you know? So my biggest fear is like, wow, am I, I don't want nobody to hurt me in my city because I know the, the love that I have for them. 
So my biggest fear is, wow, you know, Jeff, don't get hurt by the same people you loving. So, and I, and, I, and I don't know if you could understand what I mean by that because it's happening. It's happening every day now. You just lost Dolph, Slim 400, Mo 3. You, you get what I'm saying? The names so, go on, yeah. So when you become successful and then you start fearing the same people that you love, then that fear don't go away because you know deep down in your heart you really care for your city, you care for the people, but you, something tell you you have to go back. Can I ask you something? Sure. That's your biggest fear, I understand that, but my question was always, why do you fear that? Why do you fear that when it's such a simple thing to solve? Guess what? Don't go back. Right. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't understand okay. that. Why do these rappers and these people go back to places that are dangerous when they have the means to make it out and stay out? Just don't go back. Let me, let me Just say, don't go let back. Me say, Ladies and gentlemen, can I get I, a round of applause? Don't go back. No, no, I understand that. <laughs> so it's, what's up? Tell but me. But it's like, the same thing with being successful. You fight to be successful because you want something to say, hey, I did it. I won. I'm successful. I beat all my fears. I reached my highest peak. So it's the same thing with me. I, all my life, I'll say, yeah, if I ever make it to a point I could give back, I want to go back. But why can't you give back from a distance? It's easy Why to do you have to show your face and put and yourself the in, in the harm? Why? Because they said, they I, said. I, I think I know the reason though, but you okay. tell me. You tell, no, 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 okay. no, you go ahead. Because they me. said, they said the uh, people you love the most, it's the one that'll hurt you the quickest. So you give me your reason. Because dudes want to stunt. Oh, okay. That's the that's okay. my that's my opinion. Okay. Dudes want to stunt. Dudes. If you really want to help somebody and you're at fear of your life at the same time and you want to help a group of people, a city, a right. community, you can do it from arm's reach. You can stay far away, you can send people, you can give it. You don't need to show your face there. Okay. Right? Let's look at the dudes that, and, and it's not all the time, but most of the time it is. I love Dolph. You know that. Yeah. Dolph, Dolph but what was Dolph? Best. Salute to Dolph, but what was Dolph doing? Dolph shouldn't have been there. Dolph. Pulled up with the vet. Nobody has Corvettes out there. Army. Dudes knew what it is. The army fatigue, color, bulletproof. It's stunting. Like, why are you bringing a $90,000, a car that's worth more than people's houses out there? Buying cookies, he was giving back to the community. I wish Dolph never did that. Nipsey, he was helping his man give back. He was in the community. Not only do these guys want to stunt, and I'm not saying that's the sole reason Dolph and Nipsey wanted to do it, because I don't think that was the reason they wanted to do it. Right. But I wish Nipsey and Dolph and them would have helped from arm's distance. So why do dudes want to go back? A lot of the guys, not Nipsey and Dolph and those right. dudes, but a lot of guys lot come of back because they want to stunt. Okay. They want to shit on the dudes that used to hate on them and say, now look at me, I'm doing it. The girls that played them, they want to show it. Not all, but that's my opinion on a lot of reasons okay. why dudes want to go back to their old neighborhoods, whether it be dangerous now, or not. Now, and going back into what you're saying, what your fear of being successful or reaching your highest peak, I feel when you make it, you want to go back. It's like... Why, it, though? It's, it's unexplainable, you know? It's something that's within you. Now, can I ask you... Why that, that? Why did you say your biggest fear is basically scared of you not being successful or not making it to your highest peak? The, the reason why my biggest fear is not becoming successful is because all my life I had told people told me that I couldn't do it. Okay. I had girlfriends that said you're gonna be a loser. Okay. You're not gonna make it. Mm, okay. I had people that always look down on me. I could. I could you know what I'm saying? On that. So yeah. when I start to see a little bit of success, I became hungry for more. Okay. Right. But my fear. Is damn if I don't make it, those dudes were right. Okay, all and the why haters is that were right. Because because why not, is they important? It's 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 about family. It's about legacy. Mm, okay. Not only were you right, but now I'm not just immediately affected by it. My daughter is. Okay. My wife is. And when I hit that grade, the fear is when I leave the earth, nobody will remember me. There'll be nothing left to grow. Right? Okay. The flower has been stepped on and ripped out of the ground. The roots is gone. Right. So who is Yao Ajban? Right. Right. Instead of saying, who is Yao Ajba? I want people to say, w without even saying my name, just facial recognition, just show the face. Right. When you see George Washington, do you know who it is? Exactly, you know who he is. Benjamin Franklin, you know who it is? You know who he is. Yeah, Obama, you know who it is? Who know, Michael Jackson, you know who right. it is? People know they live, they by, live the they, legacy. They, 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 those are legends. Whether right. you like Donald Trump or not, people know who it is by his face, whether he did great right. things or not. Genghis Khan, these are people centuries ago that we remember. King right. Tut, Tutankhamun, people remember. Ramses, the great, these are kings and queens people remember because of the work they did on the earth. 
So my fear of not becoming successful is not only that, it's when I die 10 years from now. Right. You know, forget the haters, because they're going to die with me because we're all around the same age. <laughs> so it don't matter. We're going to die right. a little bit before, a little bit after. So we all going to go. So it's not about the haters. Right. It's about my great grandkids saying, damn. Okay. Grandpa was a bum, bro. Like, dude was born in the United States, didn't do nothing for us. We don't got no, we still got to go to college. We suffering. Like, dude was a loser, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Our families are bums. Because it all starts with you. No, I'm You get what that. I'm saying? And no, I don't, don't want to be dead. Really. And dude's just like, yo, I ain't gonna visit that dude's a sucker. He's in a grave. He didn't even now, do nothing for us. So that's can, my fear. Can, that's I, can my... I say this? Why wouldn't it be if you fought or you grew up from a bad environment or you grew up from not having, why couldn't you turn that just into that? The motivation. Why can't you just have the just the motivation of saying, well, I didn't have what these other people are or some people was fortunate to have the silver spoon and I didn't have it. So my fear, now you use that for the motivation. But I understand why you use the people that says you couldn't do it because a lot of people say you can't do it. Some people will sit down and say, hey, you can't do this. But if proving them wrong make you feel good, I respect that. So, you know, yeah, everyone has drive from something. Thank you. My uh, okay. drive is is becoming success. My, my, my drive is seeking revenge through success. Mm. And then that's one part of it. Second right. part is leaving something behind. Okay. For some, there's some drive I get. I'm talking about, yeah. There's right. some drive I get with proving the world wrong and proving me right. Right. I don't know what it is. Right. Everyone, you gotta find, that's why I say you gotta find your why. My joint is, my why is bigger than that, proving people wrong. I don't really care about right. that. But, but there's a drive I get. It's a weird, nasty, dark drive like, I told you. And right. now I did it bigger than what y'all thought. Right, right. You thought right. I was a loser. You thought I crumbled through the dirt. I rose right. and came up a boss, a legend. Right. When you say my, when you see my face, they're gonna remember. Right. When you turn off the TV, I'm still on it. Whether you turn it on or off. Exactly. There's a power I it's get from drive, proving them wrong. That. Right? Yeah. You get what I'm saying? So that's just me. But you gotta find your why and then prove myself right. My dream car is a Lamborghini. Right. Since I was little. You love Lambo. Since, since I was little. My, my dream car is a Lamborghini. Right. The day I get it, it's like, yo, I, w I was right. I said I would get this car. I got a Lamborghini. Okay. That, so it's something like with proving that. myself right and proving them wrong. I love it. If right. you don't have haters, is motivation for me. Oh, you have for, to. I, you for have for to me. Use your so that's what it is. Motivation. That's what it is. And then at the no, same time, I, I look at your aspect, but I get right. you. What you about know, you? For me, my drive in life, you know, and what also drives me is to win because of the people where I came from, of my neighborhood, or watching, you know, dudes that's older than me, you know, that's in their 50s. And I'm like, man, how did he feel? How did he became a drunk? Or how did that person became an addict? Or what stopped them from their dream? You know, because every day I got up to go to school, I had to see that. Or the guy that I grew up with, now that I'm older, I'm realizing this guy didn't do nothing with his life. So my drive comes from that. Every day that I get up out of my house, when I put on my socks, and I put on my sneakers, I said, nah, Jay, you gotta do something different. You have to make today count. Because there's somebody out there that's just sitting back throwing a bottle in the air and they just drinking. So they lost their dream because of that bottle. The habit. The habit. That they gave into the habit. You know what I'm saying? So we spoke about that. When when it comes to me, that's where I put my drive. Like it's a, it's a million little kids. I don't want to be that older guy. Now they say, look at this guy. Look at this bum. You get what I'm saying? So now I use that as a motivation. I use that as my drive because I know that I did that. Like, look at this guy, man. I used to look up to him. And he, he didn't even know that I looked up to him. So when I see a little, little boy, little girl, I ask myself, this little girl, this little boy might be saying the same thing about me because they looking up to me. So I, I, I feed off that, you know, every day. That's also why I also want to give back more. Because as a lot of kids from my community, their biggest fear is they don't know how to be successful mm. because nobody around them been successful. Yeah, this is why we created the show. This is why we got the show. Because we're surrounding ourselves with mentors and people that are wise and are teaching us. So we wanted to, you know, Tie drive with fear, you know what I mean? Tie to drive with fear. So if you're fearful of something, we wanted to tie it in with drive. And usually that's what defeats fear. So that's basically what we wanted to do. Find out what your why is, find out what your drive is. Yep. Surround yourself with the right people. And a lot of people don't have it. I didn't have this motivation when I was coming. I didn't have anyone yep. that, that looked like us, that sat down and, and you know, that spoke in this urban way or whatever you want to call it, that could connect with the people. 
Um, you know, we always see people that sometimes that don't look like us or, or come from different backgrounds, or regardless, and it don't even matter what color you are, white, black, Spanish, green, yellow, it don't matter. As long as you got a heart, a mind, we all the same yep. in terms of achieving our goals. We're all the same in terms of achieving our goals. We all have the ability to achieve our goals regardless of what background we came from. It's just that those that usually went through the mud and went through trouble and hell may or sometimes do have a stronger drive to achieve success than those that were born with a silver spoon in their mouth or gold spoon, man. I was born with no spoon. Jeff was born with no spoon. We came together, we, we put our differences aside and we found similarities Similarity. in our pain. Right. The pain is what brought us together. Yes, sir. And, and, and in that, now we continue to grow and that's why we're winning, brother. Yes, so that's sir. what this, this show is about, is helping people grow, man, and, and teaching us, teaching y'all the things that we learned. So we right. found a similarity in our pain and a similarity in our want, drive or, or desire for success. So anything I'm, else, I agree. Jenny? No, it's pretty much like you said, man. We, we built the drive from where we came from, man. So definitely, we're just gonna leave it like that. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see you guys. Next time. Next, we're gonna see you guys next time. Next time on another episode. Drop your comments below and let us know what else you wanna see Drop from those us. Comments. What, what episodes you wanna know. Ask Jeff any questions on this outfit. Our outfit, we got our clothing line coming out later on. So you'll definitely hear about that, man. And tune in, like, comment, and subscribe. Like, man, we wanna subscribe. hear from you guys. And then not on that basic YouTube stuff. Like, comment, subscribe so we get cash. And all, right. we don't care about that, man. We wanna get the information out there. We eventually wanna start going to schools and speaking. This is a serious show. Um, at the same time, we have fun. We want to connect with people and eventually start meeting some of you guys that are watching. Yep. So like, comment, subscribe. Come like, back comment, next time subscribe. and we will see you again. Peace we'll out, baby. Let's go. Let's work. See you guys next time. That's right. That was good, Jay. That was real good.